Hello and welcome to TriTech 3D here in the UK. My name is Rob and I'm part of the sales team here at TriTech 3D. Today we are going to be looking at one of the most underrated printers within the Stratasys portfolio. At the top end of the range you have our large Fortis production printers and at the lower end of the range you have our desktop MakerBot printers. But well, right in the middle you have the F123 series and today we are going to be specifically looking at the F370. Within the F123 series range, we have four different models. There is the F120, F170, F270, and this, the F370. The F370 gives you reliable and repeatable results for prototyping, functional testing, jigs and fixtures, and low volume manufacturing. The F370 uses Stratasys's painted TID FDM technology. FDM stands for Fusible Deposition Modeling, and with this technology, we are extruding engineering grade thermoplastics. The advantage to this technology is that it allows you to print extremely strong and durable components. The F370 has a wide range of engineering grade thermoplastics to choose from. For high functional parts, you can use our nylon material, polycarbonate, and even TPU elastomer materials. For more general prototyping, you can use our ABS, ASA, and PLA materials. For more specialised applications where you're using electronics, you can even use our ABS ESD7 material that gives you electric static dissipation properties. Finally, we have the QSR soluble support material. This allows for a hands-free support removal process. The F370 has the largest build area within the F123 series range. The F370 gives us a build area of 355mm by 254mm X and Y and then within the Z axis we also have the tall build area of 355mm. You'll notice in the corner we also have this small notch and that notch allows us to build a sacrificial tower. This tower will catch any debris that may build up on the tip to ensure that your model is printed with the highest quality and finish. To demonstrate just how tall the build height is on the F370, we have a printed example model. As you can see, this motorbike helmet has been printed within the build volume of the F370. On this level of system, you have dual material bays. And what that allows you to do is to load two model canisters and two support canisters. This means if you are running a longer weekend build and your spool of material runs out, the printer will automatically change over the spool to the secondary canister. The stated accuracy for the F123 series is 0.2 millimetres. However, from a third party independent study, we know that that accuracy is actually much closer to 0.1 of a millimetre. The F123 series is a office friendly printing solution. It has a small footprint and only emits 46 decibels of sound while building. The F123 series has a range of functional features, such as this built-in touchscreen. 
From here, you can load your builds and even schedule weeks worth of jobs. You can also access all of the wizards that will take you and guide you through how to change over the extrusion heads and also load and unload materials. Also built into the F123 series is a camera for remote monitoring using our GrabCAD print software and app. It is also possible to put the F123 series onto a wireless network. The F123 series uses a smart extruder. And one of the reasons why this extruder is so smart is because it's packed full of technology. Each extruder has its own heater element, drive motor and tip. What that means is every time you put in a new extruder, you are getting brand new components that could all wear out. With these smart extruders, we can print a range of Z layer heights. If you want a very quick build, you can print with a thicker layer all the way up to 0.33 of a millimeter layering. When you want to print a more high quality model, you're able to print all the way down to 0.127 of a millimeter Z layer heights. One of the key features of all Stratasys FDM printers is the heated build chamber. And the F123 series is no different. What this heated build chamber does is it allows us to cross ventilate hot air across the full range of your printed component. What can happen on low end hobbyist printers that are open cased is that if there is any fluctuation in temperature at all, such as somebody opening a door and there being a draft of air, is that it can cause your models to curl away from the bed or even worse, delaminate within the Z layering. What this enclosed heated chamber does is ensures that you are going to have accurate, repeatable models every single time you print a part. The F123 series is packed full of technology to ensure that you get an accurate and reliable build every time you print off a part. You'll see at the back of the build chamber we have tip wipes and brushes and they are there to clean the tip after every couple of layers. This ensures that no material builds up on the tip whatsoever. If any material was to build up on the tip, this could affect the quality of your build. The F123 series uses the highest quality of components. You will see, built into the architecture of the printer, high quality rail guides have been used. And this is to ensure travel accuracy. You will also see that the printer has rotary encoders. What these encoders do is track the number of steps that the extrusion head has taken. If for whatever reason the extrusion head was to travel too far, the rotary encoder is able to correct the number of steps that it needs to take. This ensures a high quality par every single time. Thank you for taking the time to watch today. If you would like any specific information or if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with Tritech 3D. I've been Rob and this is the F370.